everyone. How you doing? We'll give it just one quick little second. Okay, so um, Cinco de Mayo is actually tomorrow. And so that means all Mexican food. I might, I might try to move this camera really fast. I guess just one second. Let me try to move this camera. I'm gonna try to move it. Just one second. I'm gonna try to move it this way. I'm gonna try to move the camera more this way. Maybe that will work a little better. Okay, so Cinco de Mayo, everyone, is tomorrow. And it's so dark and gloomy in here. We are on day two of just rain and freezing cold. It's so cold. I don't know if you guys, well, it's not so cold, but the rain, it's been raining for two days. Okay, so we will get this. I'm gonna try to show the food. So Cinco de Mayo, like I was saying, is tomorrow. So this is definitely a recipe that you need to be trying for Cinco de Mayo for sure, because it is very delicious. Um, I absolutely love Mexican food. I could almost eat it every night. I love Mexican food. Uh, this honey, it's quick and easy, honey lime chicken enchiladas. Uh, we actually got this recipe from our good friend, Jenny. So if you're watching, thank you, Jenny. And we have loved this recipe. Everybody that has this recipe absolutely loves it. And it's super delicious. Okay, I'm gonna scoot it up a little closer until I do this because I am missing a comment. Hello from Boise. I'm so glad to get to see my first live. Hello. I'm so glad. Welcome from Boise. Okay, so... Something that I actually want to do that, uh, that is gonna be my new little thing. My mom has to have somebody filming her. We've already gone all over that. But I am getting so many amazing comments and just testimonies in from you guys all the time. So I'm starting to print them off. And with you sharing, I, I won't always say your name unless you approve and you want me to say your name, but I have to share some of these because they are so amazing. So at the beginning of all of my lives, if you want to share in and if you do want me to share uh, your name and everything, then make sure to tell me. So I'm going to just share a couple that I wanted to share with you. Okay, this is one that I thought... Okay, now I'm out of order. But I'm going to get to all of these because look how many. Look how many. And this is all that has happened in the last week. We've been doing this Instagram now since October. And this is not from October. This is only from one week ago. This is all new, amazing testimony. So I want to share it. And like I said, this... This lighting, it's so dark. Okay, so let me, I'm trying to go to the one because I think it got, this one was just unbelievable. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. And if I can't find the exact one I wanted to read, my printer, of course, printed it off. I finally printed them off. So ask any questions along the way and then I'm gonna show you how to make this easy. I think it was this one. I think it was this one. But I thought, I thought it went in order. I think it was this one. Oh no. Okay, I can't find the exact one I wanted to read. So I'm just going to read them, okay? I'm just going to read the one that I, I'll share this one really fast. Oh my heavens. Oh my heavens. How did that happen? Hold on. There was one that I wanted to read and my printer, real life, real life. Okay, I will share this one. So th my new message, which is not really a new message, but um, honestly, my mom raised me on this message our entire life, but we haven't really been talking about it a lot on our Instagram. So it was probably about two weeks ago that I shared our message about healthy eating and not being afraid of food and um, I just feel like more than ever, the women my age 
and um, even a little bit older and younger and everything, just everybody's so afraid to food, uh, eat food and they're just afraid of gaining weight and the whole thing. So I was talking about this fear of food and how this is gonna be my message and I'm not gonna quit talking about it for a super long, long time. Like this now is my message. And so I wanted to share what she said right here, okay? Your message is so important. And I don't know if she wants me to share her name. I only have her Instagram name. I don't know. We haven't even asked of that part. But um, thank you so much for sharing your message. You and your mom are helping me change my relationship with food. I have struggled with weight my whole life, but I am seeing an easier way now through your family's tried and true meals and ways of eating. I have lost weight while still enjoying great food and not driving myself crazy over counting this and counting that every time I turn around. I appreciate you and your mom and the message that you are sharing with others. Thank you. So when I tell you that these messages are powerful and they make me cry, like I'm getting teary-eyed, um, this is unbelievable. This is what we want to do. So thank you for sharing these. And um, we try to write back to every single one of you. And I do believe that I did write back to her. But isn't that an amazing message? And that just touches us beyond. So um, I, won't, I'll, I will go through and read and we'll, we'll do this. But this is going to be my new thing. Because I want your, I want it to be, um, of course, that we are talking to you that this is going to work. And that this is a true message and the whole thing. But I love, we love hearing the testimonies come in from you and know that it's working for you. And I think it's inspiring and it helps others to see that we're not crazy, that we're not making this up. So that is unbelievable. Um, I think that weight can um, obviously be a struggle. There's obviously people that never have to worry about weight and there's people that have to worry about it. And I have always had to worry about weight. I have never been somebody with a fast metabolism, nothing like that. And so the message that I have just been trying to share in the last few weeks even more is that if you just create a healthy lifestyle of enjoying all foods, um, you can eat whatever you want if it's just in portion size and you just watch it, that's it. I had so many people ask me while I was in Vegas, are you really eating all this food? You wouldn't have believed all the comments that I got in. And I'm like, yes, I am eating this food. It's sharing. Um, most of the time when I go out to eat, I never get my own meal, you guys, unless I am eating a kid's meal. Um, you know, and that goes for my mom. Exactly what I'm saying is what she taught me and what she still is living by today as well. Um, so it's, you get to eat if you just stay a little active. Like I said, I like to walk. We like to walk. We're walkers, but we're not like crazy workout. Um, so it's just learning to eat healthy, enjoying food, enjoying life, not being afraid of it, not being afraid of gaining weight because you're not going to, you're not going to. And so don't be afraid if you've been afraid to try out our recipes. And sometimes I get on here and I can't even explain exactly what I'm trying to say. So, um, oh, before I forget, and I'll show you the honey lime enchiladas, our, our aprons are now ready. Um, we just have to figure out the exact shipping, but it's going to be this week. They're done. They're ready. It's going to be exactly as you see. They're so slimming and they're, they're just nice. They hold up great. I've had mine for like five years and it still looks like this. It hides up. Anyways, they're going to be $19.95 and then you'll have to pay for the shipping. So that's the only part that we have to figure out and then we're good to go. So you're going to love it. So thank you for this message. You shared it better than I feel like even I did. Um, but there are so many amazing uh, I'll read you one more. I'll read you one more because these are so good. Look at this. I have so many. Okay. Oh my heck. Thank you. I have felt this way for so long and am so grateful to have found a community like Food Nanny who just promotes family dinner and eating. Um, we recently had some neighbors invite us over for dinner, which was so nice. Oh, oh okay. Th that one, I, I lost the other part. Anyways, 
she went and uh, went to this dinner exactly she wrote me a long one and her her friends long story short said you go and eat your food um go around and get the food that they had prepared and then they pulled out their own food out of the fridge their own diet food so they were letting their friends eat the normal food that the kids were eating but they weren't going to be eating that food and they pulled out their special diet food so it's so funny it's so funny so anyways these testimonies are amazing and we love them so keep them coming and i will have to finish this one some are so long that they printed out a couple of pages anyways okay let's get cooking on to our honey lime enchiladas okay so you we have made the sauce we have prepared the sauce it's so hard to show all this we have prepared the sauce and this is honey and lime juice fresh lime juice that you have squeezed from li uh, limes and you, it's about a half a cup to was it oh yeah two-thirds cup honey to a half a cup of fresh lime juice and then it's two tablespoons of chili powder and then it's one teaspoon of garlic powder so you make up your sauce and then you divide half of it into another bowl and this recipe was used for, uh, it, it was written for a super fast meal. Like if you're in a time crunch or you don't have anything ready for dinner and you ran to the grocery store, you could pick up a rotisserie chicken. So I did do that. I did pick up the rotisserie chicken to show this recipe. But when you're making your two week meal plan, of course you're not gonna buy your rotisserie chicken that far ahead of time. So you just can do chicken the way that I've told you and explained about it. And it actually will tell you that in variations in the recipe. You can just, um, if you have frozen chicken breasts, you can either unthaw them or you can cook them frozen. And I just put them either on a cookie sheet or nine by 13 and you put olive oil, our French salt, of course, and, and ground pepper. And then you bake it for about 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. And I make my chicken like that a lot of different ways. I hope my comments are not turned off and nobody is trying to come in and say anything. Okay, so you you let the, you do your chicken, shred up your chicken. If you do the rotisserie chicken, just shred it up. Put half of the sauce, and then this is going to sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. And then you're gonna leave your other half of the sauce and I'm gonna show you, we're going to add more to this, okay? So it's just super easy and fast. Oh, now we are getting some comments. These are the best enchiladas. My husband is Hispanic and loves them more than his mom's. So flavorful, whoa! Isn't that a compliment? That's unbelievable. I think they are the best enchiladas, the best. What's your opinion on Instant Pot for cooking frozen chicken, etc.? You know what? We honestly, I think the Instant Pot is great and I'm seeing a lot of different people use it. I have some friends that are using the Instant Pot. We just haven't gotten into it yet uh, because I just feel like I know it does cook super fast. I mean, what, what cooking, chicken cooks in like 10 minutes, something crazy like that. But I just love the flavor that I get from cooking it in the oven with olive oil and salt and pepper and things like that. But we're not against it. It's just something we've not tried yet. It's just something that we have not tried. But like I said, I have a bunch of friends that are into it and they love it. I just haven't, we haven't gotten into it. So I'm sure it's great and if and you can definitely do it. I just love I don't does it does it give enough flavor for the chicken? Because the way I told you to cook the chicken, it's just super flavorful. I feel like this is so far away, but I'm trying to show the food. It's just super flavorful. Um so I'm not against it. We just haven't really used it. Okay, or the pulled or the pulled rotisserie chicken at Costco in the bag. Uh I think it is that fast, mom, food nanny. I think you can ch cook chicken in 10 minutes, can you not? I think it's super fast, right? I believe you can, mom. Um, the pulled rotisserie
rotisserie chicken, yeah, that's great rotisserie chicken at Costco. That's amazing rotisserie chicken. So yes, that's fabulous. You can get that. If, like I said, if, if you want to do the rotisserie chicken, great, but you don't have to, and you can do that. Um, I made these last night. Everyone loved them. Oh, you, you did, Ashton. Yay. I'm so glad. They're so yummy. I do think they cook that fast, Mom. Okay, we will continue to go. So you're going to then add, um, this is green enchilada sauce on the bottom. Yes, doesn't it cook that fast? Are you saying yes to that? I swear I thought it did. Okay, so I think we now add a little bit on the baking sheet. Yeah, you're gonna pour a little thin layer on the baking sheet. So we have sprayed this. I know I keep talking about this, but I absolutely love this little pan that was $17 at the world market. It's a lasagna pan. Yes, it's bigger than a nine by 13, but I love it. I love it because I'm so sick of just glass all the time with my Pyrex. I've said this before, but you need to make your dinners feel special. Don't always serve your dinner on paper plates and just whatever dishes because it's not gonna be as special. Um, it's not like you gotta bring out the fine china every night, but bring out pretty dishes. Bring out things that make, that have meaning to you and make you happy. And I don't know why lately, but cooking out of this does make me happy. So it's funny, just bring out different things that make you happy. Okay, what are we saying? You have to let the instant pot get to a certain temperature so it's not that fast. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Do you love how we just have this lovely, whatever. I don't even know the Instant Pot, but I thought people were like, it's 10 minutes, it's so fast. So, okay, they cook fast, but it needs time to heat up and time to release pressure. So it's about 30 minutes or more. Okay, well, if it takes you that long, honestly, then do the chicken in the, uh, the do it in the oven because that takes 35 to 45 minutes. So that's almost just as fast and it brings so much flavor. And all it is, like I've said, is olive oil, salt, and pepper. And it's to die for. Um, okay, Food Nanny is right. It cooks 10 minutes, but one, okay, well, there you go. She's right. She hasn't even done the Instant Pot either, but I knew it only cooked 10 minutes, but we haven't used it. Okay, did the, did they have a stock of those pans on hand? Oh. Th this pan, yes, I know they do, and I love them. I bought two of them. I can't get enough of them. Okay, uh, Instant Pot needs no babysitting. You can throw it in and go to the park or something, which is fabulous. We are definitely not against the Instant Pot. I, I know that there are some of you that are making our recipes in the Instant Pot. It's just something that I have not gotten into yet, but it's fab that's fabulous, but honestly, all of our recipes from start to finish, most of them are 30 minutes or less. So it's super good. I love to have the, I love to use the Instant Pot and converted a lot of recipes to it. It does not heat up my kitchen and large oven, and my large oven does. That's great too. Super obviously, but oven tastes so good. Yes, I agree. I think it tastes better. I've never really done the Instant Pot, but I bet it tastes better in the oven. But fabulous with the Instant Pot. Okay, so you want taco size flour tortillas, okay? We get off subject, I know, and it's so dark in here. Okay, we're going to add the rest of our, I'm just making sure that I'm doing this right because sometimes we get crazy in here. So I'm going to add the rest of this to our marinade our two cups of this, okay? And then it's gonna be a half a cup of heavy cream. A half a cup of heavy cream. Where is my heavy cream? Let me get a half a cup, and we're gonna add a half a cup into our sauce, okay? It's so delicious. Oh man, it's so good. Okay, so now this is so quick and easy. So now we're just gonna get our tortilla. I'm just 
So I like to do this. I like to get a baking sheet. I have my little tiny little baking sheet that I like to prepare enchiladas, tacos, things like that before I put it into my pan. So let me back it up a little bit. So we have Monterey Jack cheese and you're gonna put a little bit of Monterey Jack in the middle, just like this. Can we see? Maybe I'll turn this light back on. It's so dark in this corner. Maybe I'll turn that light back on. It's gonna give some life in my kitchen. Okay, so now we've got our chicken and we're just gonna put some chicken down the middle. So easy. But like I said, the chicken is best to be in the marinade for at least 30 minutes in your fridge. It's just gonna be the best. So then you just roll it up like an enchilada and then I'll show you. And then you just are gonna place them in your pan and then you're gonna pour the sauce with a little more cheese. So easy and would be so good with for Cinco de Mayo. So I'm just gonna continue doing this for a minute. I'm trying to back it up, you guys. I'm so sorry. Can you see? Ah! Do you add the cream? Okay. You add it to the rest. You don't add it to the chicken. So you save half of your marinade. Half of the marinade goes within the chicken into the fridge. Then the rest of your half of your marinade, you have it with the two cans of enchilada sauce, and then it's half a cup in the cream. So you're pouring all of this on top of it, and I'll show you in two seconds. So look how easy this is. Put some cheese, put some chicken. They're so good. Look what that girl just said. Her husband is Hispanic and likes these more than his mom's. That's insane. And these are so easy. So like I said, thanks Jenny. We Love you. So I'm just gonna put them in my, and honestly, I'm gonna wait. I've never done this. I've never waited to bake them off, but I'm going to today. So I pray that they don't get soggy. I really don't think they are. But if you did have a busy day um, and you wanted to just completely bake them off and then reheat them, uh, either in the oven or just even the microwave, you could. And that would be so easy. Uh, my one friend, it was so funny, the other day she was laughing and she said, I finally listened to you and I prepared my dinner ahead of time because I knew my day was gonna be crazy and it was the best because she was prepared and ready for dinner because everybody's gonna want dinner. So depending on your day, just work it out. If you know you're gonna be super busy, then just prepare it ahead of time. And like I said, you could either bake it off now, reheat it, or put it in the fridge for later. Okay, what did I miss? Can the marinade go longer than 30 minutes? Of course it can. Yes, of course. Of course it can. Um, how do you compensate for not having iodine in the salt that you use? Oh, iodine. What are you doing? Okay, come over here. You can have this. Um, compensate for iodine. My mom has actually talked about that a few times. Mom, do you want to say she knows more about on the salt? Um, she was trying to explain that um, iodine is is in most different things now. Okay, just a, sorry, just a second. You gotta wait one minute. You gotta wait one minute. Um, mom, answer her question or DM me later and because she knows exactly how to answer that question. And I feel like I'm not going to say it right. But um, I know that she said forever ago, years ago, iodine was um, such a big deal. Like they said that you had to have so much iodine in the salt and different things like that. And I believe that you don't now. I don't. Mom, answer that question or she needs, or DM me later and I will get you the exact question on that because we we know what you're talking about. So I, we will answer that. I think, can you use corn tortillas with these? Yes, but I think they're way better with flour, way better. I love corn tortillas for so many of our recipes, but these are definitely way better. And these are just the taco size. 
the taco size flour tortillas. And if you wanna get really Cinco de Mayo and special, then um, make your own tortillas. No, but those are the corn ones, but we actually have a flour one too as well. Uh, okay. Okay, sorry, trying to help a child. Um, I think enchiladas are really yummy the next day, so flavorful. I do too. I love them for leftovers. I love this. If you buy pre-cooked chicken, about how many cups of it do you use? Uh, I think it actually says, it, it's equivalent to two medium chicken press. It's one pound. It's one pound. So, how, so yeah, so you're doing about one pound and it's equivalent to two chicken breasts. So if you were doing, honestly, I just, I just wing it. I don't ever measure it out exactly. When I do the rotisserie chicken, I just shred it up as much as I can. And I just, I just make it with as many enchiladas as I'm gonna make. Um, how many do I normally make with this? I, I, I probably make about like 10. So I just try to get, you know how sometimes to the rotisserie chickens, there's more, there's more meat on it sometimes than others. So you just, you just kind of wing it. Get, don't, you don't want too much in your enchilada. Okay, uh, I have wondered that too. Do you use the cutting board by the oven or are they strictly decorative? I actually do use them, but I do, I do like to have them as decorative too, but I actually do use them. I use them, but I love to have cutting boards everywhere for decor. We use them, um, we, we really do use them, but I love them as decor everywhere. I just have them fit wherever I can, you know? I love them. My mom has them hanging on her walls. I, I had one hanging on my wall at one point. I, I just love them. I think they're such great decor. Okay. What is, we don't need the iron anymore. We get it in other foods. They put in the iodine um, in, during the war. Now we get our vitamins and minerals in so many other foods. That's what I was thinking. That's what I remembered her saying is that you get it in so many different foods now. So yes, there you go. There's your answer on the iodine with the salt. I promise you the salt is the best salt you will ever have in your entire life. And if you Google about it, like I've talked about, it will actually talk about that salt. And we're gonna go to the salt farms. I don't, like I said, I don't wanna keep saying when we will, but we are, and that is gonna be a super fun experience to show you where the salt is totally made at. So that, or I mean grown, not made, grown. The salt farms in France. Okay, so I'm about done. I've made enough enchiladas. So this is made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, exactly like I thought. Ten, and then I'm gonna pour the remaining sauce on top. Oh, this sauce is so delicious. I'm out of the camera. I am out of the camera. Sorry, guys. So then you pour the sauce on top, and then you're just gonna put some more cheese on top. So delicious. I'm serving this with our honey lime rice. We have two incredible rice recipes in book number one. Don't, never look no further. I'm not exaggerating. The honey lime rice is like an equivalent to a Cafe Rio rice, if you know they're kind of a rice. It's the best. I make it with everything. It's got so much fresh lime juice, cilantro, it is so delicious. And then I'll serve it with black beans tonight. So it's gonna be super yummy. This is a perfect thing for Cinco de Mayo. And it's my son's birthday on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not, it's tomorrow. <laughs> okay, uh, I bought the gray salt and we are loving it. I am so glad. What are you making? I just tuned in. This is the quick and easy honey lime enchiladas in book number two on page 117. They're super delicious. The sun and water makes the salt. Yes, I didn't mean to say that it was grown. Okay, lime cilantro or honey lime. This is honey lime enchiladas, but our rice is lime, is a uh, lime cilantro. I don't, I don't know, I didn't mean to say honey. Let me find the book number one. You guys, I get on here and sometimes it's 
the Santa Fe Lime Rice. It's on page 123, and then I love our Mexican rice with fresh tomatoes. Both are unbelievable. But the Santa Fe Lime Rice, ooh. And that's what I'm gonna be serving with this. And then I'm gonna serve, uh, like I said, with black beans. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more cheese. Does anybody else have any questions? Do you make your rice in a rice cooker? I sometimes do, but most of the time, I actually do it on my stove top. I just, it's, it's easy, it simmers for 20 minutes. I feel like my rice cooker sometimes takes forever. And I, I don't know why. I think it takes way longer than 20 minutes. And I don't know if that's just because it's my rice cooker. But on the stovetop, after you get the rice boiling and all of that, if I simmer for 20 minutes, my rice is always perfect. But of course you can use both. I do both. I do a rice cooker and I do it on the stove. So either one. Um, instant pot rice is so good. Oh, good to know. Good to know, black beans straight out of the can or do you embellish them? Okay, I just, for easy, it will be out of the can. But I've done, I've done both, I've done both. We have an insane rice and bean recipe that, I don't know, did I already show that? Maybe, maybe a couple of months ago. We'll be showing our recipes all the time because we're trying Honestly, we're trying to encourage you to try it because sometimes you don't see it and you're like, I don't know if I want to try that. So look, it's definitely done. It's super good. And that one doesn't have a picture, so I wanted to show it to you. So maybe now you can come a little bit closer. I don't even know if you could really see that. Are there any other questions? I like to use a rice cooker when I, I agree, I agree mom food nanny i agree i like to use the rice cooker if i definitely double the recipe or things like that i agree she is right i made the chicken taquitos last night with the mexican rice and it was so yum i am excited to eat the leftovers for lunch today oh i ooh, those are so good those are so good um, you can also change for quinoa and it's so yummy. Yes, you can. I love quinoa. That's an amazing. I am new here. I was wondering if you are following a menu schedule that the followers are also following. So today would be this item. Okay, well, hello. Thank you for following, new follower. Okay, so we do, we give you a two-week meal plan that is actually posted on thefoodnanny.com or it is actually posted on our main page as well. We believe um, in a meal plan saves your life, okay? If you are not prepared for dinner time, it's just, it's hectic, it's crazy, you don't know what you're gonna be cooking. So my mom forever ago created a two week meal plan. Um, we think one is too short and we think a month is way too long. So two weeks is just absolutely perfect for us. So we post a two week meal plan that for free, you just totally see what we are making. I wake up every morning and I tell you what I am making for that day. And then we do three live videos a week and we show you what we are making. And it doesn't all, it's not always going to be exactly what we're making on the menu for that day. We switch it up. There's an incredible surprise live video tomorrow. And my mom's gonna be talking about, we can say what she's talking about. She's gonna be talking about cooking for two, uh, just cooking for two, but it's gonna be a really fun surprise live. Um, but that's what we do. So yes, I, I, I encourage you to follow me. If it's so hard, the hardest part about dinner is deciding what to make. So we feel like we um, come out with this two week meal plan. It tells you what to serve with what. It's, in, it's with our amazing, incredible recipes. There's two cookbooks. And I, one follower was laughing because I said, I'm sorry, it's like salt and pepper. She's like, which one do I get? You have to have both. It's salt and pepper because I literally use and go crazy with both of them and that's not an exaggeration. So they're just really great, fast, easy, family-friendly meals. And um, we're just trying to encourage you to get in the kitchen and try some of these recipes because they are the best recipes. And I actually went to a little church activity last night and my one friend there told me that no matter what, 
she always knows it's gonna be good. And um, she's getting more into the books and trying new recipes. And she said, I always know it's gonna be good. And it's so true, it's so true. And I can talk like this because I'm not necessarily the one that wrote them. I'm gonna be preaching them, but my mom's the one that wrote them and she did a fabulous, insane job with all of her recipes. They're just tried and true and I can't stop using them. They're all I use, they're tried and true. Okay, sorry, new follower, that went off for a while. <laughs> Hopefully you understood what I was saying. We are having this for dinner tonight. Oh, you are going to love. Or did you already say that you love those? I don't remember. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, after I bake this off, I love to put sour cream on top. It's good. I love to put sour cream on top. Super delicious. Okay, what is the best rice cooker? Food Nanny is saying she loves the rice cooker at Costco. Which brand? Maybe DM us and we'll take a picture. I don't know if I have the same one as her. Uh, okay, definitely making this for Sunday night. Thank you for the inspiration. I'm so glad you're gonna love it. They're the best enchiladas. I absolutely agree. I was hoping you would say that, but what's on the menu is in the recipes I would find in your cookbooks. Yes. So most of the time, all of our recipes are out of our cookbooks, but we have so many amazing ones that are not in the books that we continue to throw out there. And they're on our website, thefoodnanny.com. And I do share recipes here and there. Um, if you're definitely wanting to share, you know, try it out. Um, I will share this recipe today if you would like to try it out and give it a try. But you will never regret it and you will never regret buying these books. It's the best thing you will ever do in your life. And I'm sorry I say that every time, but it's true, it's true. I only talk about things that I'm sincerely passionate about. And I wouldn't be talking if I didn't believe it or believe it's true. So these honey lime, ooh, they're so good. They are so good. Okay, I am going to order both, both right now. Amazing, yay, you won't regret it. And also, if you buy both of them on thefoodnanny.com, you get a better deal to buy both. They're on sale if you buy both of them. It's our theme nights that make the best variety of food so healthy, fast, and great. That is exactly true too. Um, the variety of food, and I've got so many more testimonies in it. If you guys want me to share one more, I will, which is incredible that I will talk. Maybe I will try to find it super fast and share that one. It's incredible. Both books, I could never choose one over the other. I agree, it's salt and pepper, man. Trust me, you need, oh gosh, you guys are the best. You're the best, you're the best. Keep it up, do this every time, it's so nice. If I tell my kids it's a food nanny recipe, they always know it's going to be delicious. We love that, you guys are the best. We love every recipe we've tried so both. Both are fabulous. I miss the beginning, but if you, don't have fresh limes, is lime concentrate not okay? Does it make a huge difference? That's okay, that's okay. But fresh lime, it's better, but that's okay. That's okay. And I even, um, I even sometimes, you know how the limes, like you'll, like today my limes didn't even get that much flavor and my mom told me to add a little bit of lemon juice. So that's totally fine. Okay, I want to read. Oh, I just found the one I wanted to read. You guys, I just found it. Okay, can I share this one? Can I share this one? And then I'll share the next one. I'll share the next one next time. We started using your books this week and it has been incredible. Not to mention so many of the recipes are adaptable adaptable for gluten-free eaters. Thank you, and they really are, huh? We did that gluten-free live with that one girl and she's doing that all the time. Okay, can I read you this one and then I'm done? I'm done. I think I've gone over 30 minutes again. Okay, number one, she put, she lists number one, number two, number three. Hello to you lovely ladies. I wanted to message you about the grocery budget topic. When you mentioned that following the food nanny meal plan would save us 50% of our food budget, we talk about that all the time. I say, do you wanna lose weight and do you wanna <laughs> save money? I'm not kidding when I say this. So I've been saying this a thousand and one times, okay? So this is what she said.
I thought that it would maybe be true for many families, but for our large family, I thought it couldn't be possible. With all the extra meats and cheese and butter we were buying, fixing all these new food nanny recipes, how would it be possible to, I, oh, food nanny recipes, it would be possible, oh, it would probably save some, sorry, it would probably save some, but I thought no way would it be half. Number two, last week I was curious what our spending had been. We started using Food Nanny Plan January 1st, so I added up our spending from January 1st to April 18th. Then I looked at, okay, then I looked at what we had spent the same amount the time last year. I was stunned and happily surprised to see that it was exactly half. We had saved 50%. Wow, my husband was thrilled too. When I added up our eating out spending from January 1st to April 18th and compared it to last year, it was 75% less money eating out this year than last year. Number three, I just had to share that with you because it was so exciting to us to encourage other families with even, um, oh, okay, with it printed then on this page too. Even with lots of children, that our savings are amazing. My husband said tonight after we ate our food nanny Japanese curry, why would anyone eat anything beside the food nanny plan? Sending our thanks to you, to both you and, our, and your entire family. Is that not amazing? Why do these make me cry? You guys, we love you. Whoa, they make me cry because we are, what we speak of is true. It's called the true life. My mom has explained that in her Food Nanny BYU TV episodes. And we just love bringing joy and happiness to every single one of you. That is our goal. That is our whole reason for this Instagram because we know how to live it. We have a great lifestyle and we enjoy our yummy food, but we want others to enjoy it as well. So thank you. Thank you. We love you so much. It means the world to us. They make me cry. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love that. And we are finding that we don't waste food anymore. We are throwing so much food away before meal planning. Fabulous. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something. I hope I encourage you to make the chicken, uh, the honey lime chicken enchiladas in book number two. They're unbelievable. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Tune in. Tomorrow the live will not be at 10 a.m. because uh, my mom is surprising and I don't know. It's all whatever. It's getting crazy. <laughs> But it will be later in the day. So try to tune into that because it will be super fun and interesting to watch. So have a wonderful day. We love you. Thank you. Happy Mexican night. And we will talk to you soon.